Omar is told to move out of government house immediately. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get into further, we'll post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Hirua, has told the Boy State Governor Dave Omahe to pack up and leave the government house immediately following the Federal High Court ruling that disqualified him from continuing as governor. Hira asked Omahe to step down from the position of governor in compliance with the judgment of a court delivered by Justice Iyang Eko. The group said it was unfortunate that a man who has worked as a governor of, of a state for seven years would be seen casting his passions openly against the judge of a competent court of law, which is another arm of a free arms of government. Hira sees this as the height of executive rascality for Omahe to use unprintable words to describe a judge of a federal high court and indeed one of the finest jurists in Nigeria given his prodigi prodigious intellectual intellectual output as an author of, an astand of outstanding legal books, the group said in a statement signed by Conrad Emanuel Omubiko. This disrespectful attitude of Omahe demonstrates the truism in what we had said previously that he, Omahe, lacks the temperament to be the president of Nigeria. If by mistake or accident Mr. Omahe becomes the next president, then he will pocket the judiciary and install his puppet as judges to do his bidding. His unguarded utterances and miscalculated but unwarranted dare trap targeted at the judiciary of Nigeria is, to say the least, disappointing. It is even sadder that Einek is yet to comply and enforce the judgment of a court. Why is Einek also disrespecting the law? Why is a man already stripped legally of authority of a governor of a bunch state still parading about as governor and the law enforcement agencies are aiding and abating illegality? Einek being a constitutional created body must abide by the binding judgment of a competent court of law recognized by Section 6 of the 1999 Constitution. The saddest reality is if Dave Omahe was on PDP and lost his position to the APC, Einek would have complied with the judgment of a federal court. Because for now, there is no superior ruling suspending the enforcement of that judgment. So I next should immediately issue the certificate of return to the nominee sent by the PDP as directed by the Court of Law, pending the determination of the appeal instituted by the former Mr. Dave Omahe challenging the Federal Court ruling. Recall that the Federal High Court in Abuja on Tuesday sacked Governor of Ebony State, Dave, David Omahe, and his deputy, Mr. Dr. Eric Kelechi Igwe, over the defection from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressive Congress, APC. The judgment delivered by Justice Ian Gekwo held the total number of 393,042 votes secured. Omahe secured at March 9, 2019, a state governorship election belonged to the PDP, hence could not be legally transferred to the APC. The court noted that both Umahi and Igwe's defection to the APC not only threw out the PDP but also the votes that belong to the party. Hmm. Next time, Uncle will think before he leaves, so Uncle will give things a thought, as in he will think, think, think things through. He will not just, you know, think about it and he will think about his action, not shallowly but deeply. He will have an in depth thinking before carrying it out. And unfortunately, he did not consult before he did the move. Or maybe he, you know, no, no. Anambra deputy governor, actually, it was actually after Umayyad. Umayyad Umay had moved since one year. I don't think he saw this one coming. Ha! He did not. He would have just mellowed down. Do this thing, as in, after your, your presidency, after your this thing, you just, you know, you just move. Look at, just look at, look at the mess he has put himself in. As in a very big mess. But what is Omahi waiting for before vacating the government house? Is that his private house? The government has spoken up, so he should obey before any further move. <laughs> Why did we care not move that when they struck out his case during the first regime? Hmm. Okay.
This is very full and shameful coming from a group that puts us as human rights advocates. Even if this judgment cannot be faulted, even if this government cannot be faulted, Chief Uma Isi has the right to appeal as a human rights group. You should recognize and respect that right. Trying to hand them out of office at this stage, therefore, is irresponsible. Or does the advocacy have limits? Other people whose rights you're ready to even help trample on? Please let the law take its full course. A senior advocate of Nigeria and the person of Mike Uzekome has opined that a court does not have the power to remove a sitting governor this, the way the court wants to do, and I am of the same opinion. I take the come to AD towards the 20, 2007 election, and the PDP and OBJ tried to remove him from office. The case went up to the Supreme Court, which ruled that he cannot be removed for the campaign to another party. Well, this is politics, not then sabi. My honest, if this was actually done, if a PDP member decamped from, I mean, if an APC member decamped from APC to PDP and this court ruling, you know, they would have enforced it to, my, to the best of my knowledge. That one I know. They will not even wait for any appeal or whatever. To be sincere. So, uh, PDP or APC or then Sabi, two of them, they are, they are the same. The woman here told them you won't listen. Now your cup is full. There's no case you put there now. They want you out. Hmm. Appeal court over to you. If you like, collect money from the governor. You abuse the judiciary. If you like, respect your dignity and honor. And do the needful. Or more. Look at the advice in the whole court too. Hmm. Please. When is he packing? Because I volunteered to help him pack his belongings. Uh-huh. I see Omar here as power drunk and arrogant follow who chooses the judgment to obey and the one to disobey. And it is not right for someone who is coming out to to contest for presidency. No, what he did is, is actually very wrong. Him going and doing uh, saying a lot of things. I think it's, it's it's not right. It's not right. He has the right to appeal the federal court decision. Not even the judge who pronounced the verdict could dare evict him from the government house before desperation of the period allowed for appeal. Of course. <laughs> let's see. Let's see this one out. I mean, you know now, I like sitting it out with sipping juice and crossing my leg. At this point, this movie